A developing story, a man shot and killed on the northeast side, and tonight his neighbor with a strong message for all of us. WRTV's Adam Schum spent the day talking to those in the community about what needs to happen to put an end to the ongoing violence. A growing memorial. The man around the corner who sells Avon, I mean, and I bought sheets and things from him, had got shot. Is a reminder of what happened at this east side home Saturday night. Saturday we heard gunshots. We were out having a... Um, family day. Metro police say that a man was found shot and killed outside this home on the 4,000 block of East 34th Street Saturday night. Family members have identified him as James Mason. They describe him as a family man and are in complete shock that he is gone. He was a very nice guy. Saturday's homicide marks an all too familiar feeling for Jackie Johnson, who's lived on the east side her entire life. I'm not so much scared about for me, but I'm scared for my generations that I'm leaving behind. And that's what bothers me most. My generations that I'm leaving behind. You mean you're not, you don't give a dag up? It gets worse. It's not getting better. From Saturday until Monday, Mason as well as one other person were killed in an additional shooting. That shooting taking place on Sunday on the northwest side. Slashed tires and broken glass are a vivid reminder of the aftermath of what happened at this home off of West 71st Street and North Michigan Road. Neighbors tell me off camera that the man who lost his life was targeted. 11 other people were injured in violence over the weekend. We moved over here when I was 11 years old. Uh, we were able to walk up and down 34th Street with no problem. Now Johnson is calling on city leaders and the community to come together. I'm only one, but I'm speaking for many. To put an end to the gun violence, but as many have said before, try and slow it down. How do we stop it? One at a time. One at a time. And yeah, tell. Don't be ashamed. Don't be scared to tell. You see problems. You see things that's happening. Speak up. Before she says, many more lives are taken far too soon. If you see somebody standing in the liquor store and the gun is heavier than the pants he's got on, nine chances of the ten, he doesn't have a permit for the gun. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV. Metro Police say no arrests have been made in either of these homicides. They are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS.